Brand new whip. I woke up to 80,000 subscribers. Just waking up and seeing that live subscriber count roll over the 80k mark, like, holy moly, like, I, I cannot even comprehend that. I never thought my channel would grow this big, this quick. Like, it's honestly insane. 80k, I think I set my goal for the end of 2017 to be like 20,000, and I'm nearly on 100,000. I know 100,000 is only around the corner. I reckon like the next month or so we got it. So let's, let's keep the love and support coming. 100k, we got it, guys. Share these videos around like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, turn on post notifications to start off this video, guys. I just wanna say another little thing. A lot of people ask me, how did you overcome hate in high school for riding scooters? And you know, they just ask kind of similar questions like that, like I'm getting a lot of hate for this, I wanna start this, but I'm worried I'm gonna get hated on. Guys, when I started vlogging, I got so much hate. I even lost friends, and then I realized if people are hating on you for doing something that you love doing, they were never friends in the first place. I got so much hate when I first started scooter riding from other people, from outsiders of the sport, and then I got hate from scooter riders themselves when I started vlogging because it was something different. And being a street rider making vlogs, it was something very different. I got a lot of hate, you know, especially from like, you know, the street dogs and all that. And you know what? I never gave a fuck what anyone thought. The fact you're getting hate in the first place just means you're on your way to success because if you're successful in something, people are gonna hate on you because they're jealous, because they don't like it. If you're getting hate, just think of it like this. Yes, like I'm on my way to success. And you know, like I still get hate every single day, no matter how far I'm getting. And I just think to myself, hell yeah, like this is all part of just being successful. I got so much hate when I started vlogging. Look how far I've come. And the people who hated on me seven months ago when I started vlogging are in exactly the same position as they were then as they are now. And look how far I've come. If you want to do something that you're passionate about and that you love doing, you've got to not give a fuck what people think. You've got to think about yourself, what you love doing, what makes you happy. Let me continue with my walk to the station. I just had to stop and say something like that because I feel like it's important. I get a lot of people ask me like how to overcome hate and stuff honestly don't give a fuck what anyone thinks like I could be walking around like looking if anyone's looking at me like I don't care anymore I'm having fun like I'm enjoying it hope that was motivational enough but honestly guys thank you so much for 80k I got a brand new setup yesterday Oop, sneak peek sneak peek I got a brand new setup yesterday all I'm missing is wheels um so I'm gonna do like a kind of uh, like a scooter check kind of custom build type video. Well, I've already built the scooter up. All I need is wheels But I'm gonna do some sort of like scooter check video and then go test drive the scooter I'm walking through like Aussie bushland right now guys um, All I need is new wheels. So I'm gonna make a trip all the way to scooter hut Sydney scooter hut in Parramatta I'm gonna pick myself up some new wheels install them onto the scooter And then I'm gonna do like a scooter check type video and then go test drive the scooter see what I like about it uh, Let you know why I ride the parts and let you know why you should buy the parts too because they are honestly all amazing parts So I'm on my way to scooter hut right now. I'm gonna grab some new wheels pretty sure I'm gonna get some tilt wheels but I can't be too sure yet I guess you'll find out once I've already bought them and then I'm gonna do uh, some sort of scooter check and then I'm gonna go test ride my scooter either at a skate park or at a street spot I'm not 100% sure where I'm gonna test out the scooter and I think for the first time in like a whole entire year I'll actually have a dialed scooter for once so on the way to scooter hut right now I'm gonna grab some new wheels show you what parts are running and then take it for a test ride <laughs> I just finished up at Scooter Hard, grabbed a feed from Subway. Super hyped on the new scooter, guys. It's actually dialed for once. Listen to this, listen to this. Pretty much completely dialed. You guys always complain about my scooter being undialed, so finally got a dialed scooter. You guys are probably wondering what I'm running right now. I'll show you a photo right now. How nice is that? You've got the Black Root Industries premium grips at the top. Black Root Industries bar ends that come with the grips. You've got Black Urban Arch Primo Evo T-bars. 
20.5 inches wide and 23 inches tall. You have the Urban Art Primo SES clamp. You've got the Urban Art headset in black. You have the Urban Art Primo Evo fork. Uh, you have the brand new Tilt Jonah Humble signature wheels that I just purchased then. And last but not least, you got the Urban Art Primo Evo deck in black, five inches wide. Pretty sure it's 21.25 inches long. Obviously another tilt wheel on the back and the flex fender that comes with the deck and just look at that thing man Look at that Brand new whip super hyped. It's actually dialed for one's got a little jacked out seat collage by the way These are the two new colorways. So currently this colorway is all I had in stock by the time this video is out I will have that colorway and that colorway now I've like made a little collage I've cut them all up and put them together so they don't actually look like that But there's a full colorway in that color and the stickers in that colorway as well. They'll be up on the website right now. Uh, you can get 10 for $8. And I'll also put like a little uh, uh, custom package together. You can get like, you know, like a, a variety of each sticker for, uh, for a specific price. Now I'm going to head down to the closest skate park, which is actually Parramatta Skate Park. It's like down the road from Scooter Hut, which is pretty convenient. You can go test out your scooters there. There's like a huge bowl. There's uh, a legend rail section. There's like a kind of park-ish. Uh, type section so it's a it's a great park to uh, test out your new scooter and i really really just want to like mainly wear in the wheels and just get used to the whole scooter so nothing too crazy today i'll probably just pump the bowl a bit at first uh wear in the wheels so i don't dehub them like you know real quick or anything just kind of get used to the scooter so i'm going to test out the whip have a quick ride at Parramatta, then i'll probably head back to my local park later on might hit some spots not sure where the day is going so far but um let's go Parramatta and uh test out the new scooter Yo, look at this guy's crazy hat. Good term at a um, skate park. Oh, thanks for introducing me, man. Before I came here, I was like watching your video. Hey, that's sick, dude. Hey, man. Whoop. Oh. Just chuck one of those, yeah. What's up, guys? What is up, man? Yo, what's up? Hello. All right, guys, down here at Parramatta Skate Park. A couple of people here already. Yo, what's up? They painted the bowl, which is pretty sick. That wasn't there last time. Uh, but I'm going to start off in the bowl wearing my new wheels. It's always good to wear in brand new wheels, so I'm pretty keen to get a little session in. Pretty sure it's going to get pretty hot pretty fast because it's already pretty boiling. But uh, you're going to start off in the bowl. Got the GoPro. I'm going to get some GoPro clips. Oh, stinky. Have you guys got wax? There should be some over there in that, we'll show you. Oh, is that wax? Yeah, it's not marked. Oh, no, that's sweet. That's where they keep the wax at the skate park, in the coping. My deck's like matte black and it's brand new so it doesn't slide that well yet. This is like one of the biggest rails here. Oh, actually, is that one bigger? Is that one and this one? This one's like eight stairs, nine stairs or something. Pretty nice. Have you done it today? All right, I'll back you up. All right, I'll go kind of behind you, but I'll still back you up. Oh my God, dude. Wheels feel so nice. Check them out. Have you lip slided it before? Shit, I can come off with a boy. I'll try a lip slide.
Uh, one of the locals claims he can stall this fence out of the bank. Oh. It's not going to break, is it? Yeah. Oh, God, that's so much higher than I thought. Scooter's feeling pretty nice so far. Wheels are, like, starting to get worn in, which is good. The rest of the scooter's feeling pretty good. Headset's a little bit a uh, little bit tighter than I usually have it, so... Feels a little bit weird, but uh, just trying to stall one of these fences. There's like fences all the way around this park and at the top of the banks and stuff. So I'm trying to stall one, I'm kind of scared. But I'll just try it. Do I need a lot of speed or what? Um, let's do one push up before. Yeah, true. Oh! Let's go for it. Oh, why is it so scary? It's still one more time for me. Feels like it's gonna break. Yo. To whip? Shit. I see no, no, no. Whip will be too scary. You're draining. I see no. I'll try it. I'm gonna ride the ledges for a bit. I've ridden like the bowl, the little park section, done some park tricks. I'm gonna hit up the ledges and the flat bar up here. Make sure my deck's like, cause like my deck brand new, it's like matte black. It's not gloss black. It's like really, really, really sticky. So I had to like wax the crap out of the bottom of my deck for it to slide on anything. So I'm gonna set the ledges for a bit. Try to get a session in on that. Try to get some of like my basics down. And then, uh, not sure what I'm gonna do after that. Paramount Escape Park, definitely wore in the scooter, the wheels feel real nice. Like I feel like with new wheels you really need to like wear them in super good on like some nice concrete to uh, make sure they don't dehub and all that because if you don't wear them in and just take it like straight to rough terrain and all that then um, they could easily like dehub real quick. So definitely worn the wheels, they're feeling real nice, the rest of the scooter's feeling super good because like the deck is matte black I had to like wax like the crap out of the bottom of my deck for it to slide on like any coping at all but uh, scooter is amazing. So hyped to finally have a new scooter. Hope you like the look of it. I'll show you a photo one more time. How nice is that? One of the best scooters I've ever had. I went for the all black colorway. Uh, it was like completely black and then when I went to buy new wheels, I was contemplating between either just going all black and buying black on black wheels or going uh, getting like some bright pink wheels and getting like matching barns or something. But I just decided to go for the uh, all black colorway. And uh, yeah, I just got a call from Josh, my mate Josh, who I ride with quite a bit. And he was at Waterloo Skate Park today and he just went back to my local Chatswood. So I'm going to head back to my local park, Chatswood, get some more clips there, get probably some harder stuff there now that I've kind of gotten used to the scooter. I'm definitely used to it, but it's going to take another couple of days of riding to like fully get comfortable with it. But honestly, like, just like, look at that. That like bottom half of the scooter, holy moly. Definitely one of the nicest completes I've ever owned myself. And pretty much every, like apart from the wheels, every single other part is exactly the same part, although in another colorway from my last scooter. So the deck, the clamp, uh, the forks are different, although they're pretty freaking similar to my last scooter. The bars are exactly the same. Everything's just in another colorway, except for the wheels. Another close up of those black on black Jonah Humble signature tilt wheels. And I was running Root Industry air wheels or honeycomb wheels uh, before these. So these are noticeably heavier, but um, they feel real smooth. They feel real, real nice. So. 
Considering everything else is pretty much the same as my last setup, but a different colorway apart from the wheels I don't really feel like I have to speak about why I like the other parts, but amazing parts. I love it all. The deck is amazing. Five inch wide. As soon as I get back to chat, I'll get some harder clips. I'll get someone to actually film me on this camera and I'll do some more uh, technical, more uh, harder tricks actually, considering I'm kind of used to it now. So uh, let's go back to my local park, Chatswood. Let's teleport there. Three, two, one. And we're back at Chatswood. What's up? What's up? We got the locals. <laughs> so Josh got this weird barrier and we set it up like at the end of this rail. So you go like board slide, drop board. And it's kind of out of line, but... That's the spot right there. Now I'm gonna try, board up the rail. Back lip the top, drop back lip the bottom bit to whip in. Yes! Yeah, boy! Wait, wait. You keep filming? Yeah, I still am. A minute 40, this whole clip. Just keep going, I'll just go around the ball. All right, got the clip on the rail to barrier and I'm just gonna set the flat bar to end the day. I'm just gonna ride the flat bar just because like, I don't know, I seem to get all my flat. I've like got all my park tricks down and stuff on the new setup, but I want to get all my flat bar and ledge tricks like down, like all like the, you know, board back lips and 50. I haven't done a 150-50 on this, uh, on this scooter yet. So I'm gonna get all my basic like flat rail and ledge tricks on like the little flat bar and ledge section just here and then I'll probably wrap up the day after that. Alright, later is Josh. Later is Wes. Alright, great flat bar session. Got all my tricks. Well, not all my tricks, but I got most of my flat bar tricks. I'm definitely, definitely almost used to the setup and like almost near comfortable to the setup. So uh, yeah, great day all around. Uh, pretty much picked everything else up yesterday and then got the new wheels today. Had a good ride at Parramatta Skate Park. Don't usually go there. Um, then great session at the local to finish the day. I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. New videos, every, well almost every day. Lately, it haven't been every day because um, I've just been going through this like little situation which is almost resolved, but I'll be able to make a full explanation video on that whole situation once it's resolved in hopefully like a week or so. Massive news coming soon and also the brand new colorways and the stickers. The blue on the purple, by the way, this isn't a sticker. This is just like a collage of stickers that I've put together. But there's the blue on the purple and the dark green on the lemon, which are available right now on my website, www.jackedout.com. You can get them uh, in a pack of 10 or you can get like a combo package or like a, like a variety of colors in a separate package, which I'll also set up. But uh, that's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow on the channel. 5, what, what, 5, 5, 30 p.m. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Hope you love my new scooter because I'm loving it. See you tomorrow.